My best memories as a child is my 16th birthday going to Disney World, Florida, Orlando with my mum for two weeks. Stayed in a hotel called the All Star Sports Resorts. It was nice going to Disney World and Sea World with my mum. Um, other good memories I've got is going to New York in 2004 with my dad and we're walking down Times Square at night when it's all lit up and we're having nice drinks um, and we're, we're walking around with massive skyscrapers everywhere in New York City. Also, um, got another good memory for me as a child was going to Euro Disney in Paris with my brother for his 30th birthday and taking him on all the rides. My brother was disabled and handicapped so it was nice to make him have a good birthday, you know, and going to Paris with my mum and dad and brother. Now you're going to be meeting my family, my successful business father, Sujit Ghosh, who's a successful engineer, civil engineer, uh, my handicapped autistic brother, Michael, and my showbiz uh, mum, Pat Ghosh. You're going to be meeting all my family now, so uh, yeah, let's get on to it, and uh, I hope you enjoy the interview with my brother, Michael, and, um, and you're going to ask him a few questions about his disability and what makes him happy in life. Okay, cool. So, so what's your name? Michael. Michael who? Ghosh. Michael Ghosh. Okay. How many fingers am I holding up, Michael? Five. No, how many fingers am I holding up? One, two, three, four, five. Five. Eight, eight, five. Five. Okay. Michael, um, what's your mum's name? Trisha. Patricia. What's your dad's name, Michael? Shuchu. Okay. Um, and your brother's name, Mikey? That's uh, today. Say DJ Talent. DJ Talent. DJ Talent? DJ Talent. Sing this song, Michael. I say Britain. DJ Talent. I say Britain. DJ Talent. I say Britain. DJ Talent. You say Talent. Talent. Britain's got Talent. Talent. DJ Talent. DJ Talent. Hey. Michael, yeah. t t tell us what you've done today. Where did you go this morning? Cinema. Cinema? Yeah. And who did you go to cinema with? Abraham. Abraham. And what was the film? Do you know what the film was? Catch. Cat? Catch. Was it? Yeah. Yeah? And then what did you do this afternoon? Shopping. Yeah, what else? Troll trees. And, and who did you go shopping with? Mum. Mum, yeah, oh. that's right. Mikey? Yeah? Listen, tomorrow, what what do you do on a Wednesday? Clean room. Clean your room, and what else? Change your bed. Change your bed? Yeah. Yeah? And then, in the afternoon, you go out, don't you? Cleaning. Cleaning? Yeah. Have you got a cleaning job, Michael? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And where, where, where do you go to do your cleaning job? Hoovering. You do hoovering? Yeah. Yeah. What to do? Okay. Mikey, yeah. listen, where did we go at the weekend? Where did we go? Bus ride. No, at the weekend. Where did you go with Mummy, Daddy and Anthony? Where, where were we at the weekend? Easter. Easter. And where were we? Eastbourne. Eastbourne. That's right. And, and what did you do in Eastbourne, Michael? Swimming. With? Dad. Dad. Yeah? Yeah. And did we go somewhere else? Shopping. No, we didn't. Where did we go Saturday night? Swimming. We went to the pub. Pub. Didn't we? Yeah. Do you remember? Yeah. Yeah? What's your favourite food, Michael? Moon stars. Look, you like going to the moon and stars. Uh, what, what, do you, what do you like at the moon and stars, Michael? What food? Pie chips. Pie and chips? Yeah. All right. What tell you? Any more questions? No, no. no. Michael? Michael, Mike, 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 listen. Yeah. Now, you're going, you've got to get ready now. Yeah. Because Anthony. Yeah. Michael, do you want me to sit Anthony. next to you? Should we, should we hold hands, Michael? Yeah. Move over. Sit, 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 sit there, sit there. Sit here, sit here, Michael. I, I'm, I'm sitting with my, my, my very good top brother, Michael, Michael Ghosh. Ghosh. Um, he's mentally handicapped and autistic, but he's a great brother, and I, I have a lot of pleasure 
spending time with my brother Michael Gosh. I'm very proud and very sure. fond of him. Michael, you're a good boy. Good boy. Michael, do you like swimming, Michael? Swimming. You like swimming? Yeah. And uh, uh, who's your favourite football team? Colin. Colin. <laughs> All right, Michael, we're going to do... And where are we going now, Michael? Are we taking you home, Michael? Take you home. D did you enjoy your dinner? Yeah. My name is Sujit Ghosh, and I'm Anthony's DJ Talent's father, and my occupation is I'm a civil engineer. The design buildings, bridges, tunnels, factories, uh, that sort of thing. Yeah, Dick Cheney was the, what do you call, um, director of that company at, well, before he became president, but once he becomes, sorry, vice president, obviously he cannot hold a private job, so he had to resign. Yeah, it's Halliburton. I'm very proud of Anthony, very, very proud. I think he has done absolutely wonderful and he has done it all himself uh, without really any help. I couldn't give him, give him any help at all because it's a new field. So he has done completely everything on his own back. And um, things that he has achieved is absolutely wonderful. Oh, of course I feel uh, proud for him, but of course it has got um, bad side <laughs> also. He cannot go out in the, he cannot go out in the street with him. Somebody is, uh, you know, Somebody, uh, maybe you can say it harassing, they're not always harassing, they're just coming around and talking. There's no private moment, you know, that is the negative side of it. I felt very proud. I didn't, I couldn't believe that my son can achieve this sort of thing because he had no training, no initiation, and um, I'm really amazed where he gets all this from. So, you know, there must be something in him that he is doing all this and batting on, uh, achieving all these things. It's amazing. I think it's wonderful. I mean, he's bringing in a very vast, wide range of experience into the house, talking about it. I, I wouldn't have known what, um, what sort of thing goes on in the gold mine, or what sort of people work there. In fact, uh, as you can see, I got no gold necklace, nothing. Uh, he has got gold teeth. Uh, he's travelled here and there, he's, he's a genius. Uh, Michael is the older, uh, older than Anthony by maybe one and a half years, two years. He's handicapped, um, but he's a very, otherwise he's a very cheerful, he's mentally handicapped, he's not suffering any physical pain or anything. He does his own thing, he's, um, and he pleases himself, so uh, we, kept, we keep up with him. He's also in some ways very good. He keeps us fit. So, uh, it's just God's gift. My name's Pat Ghosh and I'm Anthony DJ Talent's mother. And I know his whole life history, good and bad. And I know a lot about the things that have gone on in his teenage years coming up to the present time when he um, in the past when he was younger he did dabble with drugs um, and I found it quite appalling to be honestly and it was a very worrying time I hate it I absolutely hate it I think it's disgusting and it's just really bad and I don't like it and it upsets me. I think he's done very well. I think he's achieved a lot really because he didn't have a very easy start in life when he was a young boy. He had his problems and I think he's done extremely well. Much better than I would have ever thought possible. And it's given him a lot of confidence in himself which I think is really good because he was lacking in self-confidence and all this work with Britain's Got Talent, meeting famous people in the public eye and doing his music and really enjoying himself and he's had a great time as well travelling overseas um, and it's all due to his 
confidence, really, that he's got in the last couple of years. And he's been very pushy in trying to get the best possible deal with everything. And it hasn't been easy. But he's, you know, you can say that he's certainly tried anyway. I guess in, in retrospect you could say that. But then when he was younger, we didn't really know that he had any potential in that way because of the problems he had in learning and stuff when he was younger. Um, I don't think he could have gone to a school like that. But I think he's done very well. He's achieved a lot, far more than I would have thought possible. No, he's, he's, he's different. He's, he's had a different, different way of life from the average Joe Bloggs. Um, you know, I mean, his health problems have, um, you know, affected him. And really, you know, I think he, I think he's done extremely well. You know, he's pursued it. You know, and he's got to look after his health because without health, you know, there's no point in having all the money in the world or fame unless you've got health. Very, I feel very proud that he's achieved that, you know, it's, it's not easy to do what he's done and, you know, without the confidence, he's grown over the years with the confidence, he's been able to achieve it and he, he just does not let anything stop him from doing what he wants to do, even if it's not always the right thing to do and he makes a mess of it, but he, he tries, I'll say that for him, he's a trier. Well, when it happened in 2009, when he was on Britain's Got Talent, um, it was quite surprising, really. I mean, having all these people singing the hook from his Britain's Got Talent song, and um, generally having all the media attention in the, in the television and also in the papers, and also in that papers there was a lot of nasty articles written about him that weren't true you know and that caused him a lot of stress at the time and people who are like that are haters really because because of success it's a, it's a form of jealousy because he's achieved something and you know people didn't think he would be able to do it and he has terrible in a nutshell. I don't like them. I don't like them because he had beautiful white teeth and to my mind he's ruined his he's ruined his face. That's my personal opinion. And he knows that as well. My experience on Jeremy Cole was very stressful and I felt very embarrassed. And he made a right pillip of himself. But he doesn't give a monkeys as per usual. So I, 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 I wasn't too happy. But as always, he had to do it. He wanted to do it, so I had to go along and hold his hand. And it was very embarrassing and upsetting. Michael Ghosh is my eldest son, um, and when he was born, he he suffered a great deal. Um, he had a difficult birth and he was brain damaged at birth and as a result of that he has got a condition called autism as well as having a severe learning disability um, but it seems that everybody lately who's worked with Michael be they psychiatrists or staff caring for him Everybody seems to think, you know, that he's got a lot of abilities, but because he can't speak very well, um, he finds it hard to, you know, to sort of show how um, good he is at things. And everybody seems to think he's a lot more intelligent than you give him credit for. He takes everything on board. He, he understands what people say to him. But the biggest problem is the fact that he finds it very difficult to talk about it himself, you know, so it's like you just have one 
sentence, you, you ask him questions and he'll reply, but you can't have a flowing conversation with him because he's, he's got a severe language disorder and that's tied up with the autism. So I do think that, but there again, um, I think he has quite a fulfilling life. He's very busy every day, he does different activities and things. Um, and he's, he's generally quite happy in himself and at the end of the day all you want for your kids is to be happy but as a parent you would also like to have your child to be successful um, and that's been very difficult you know with Michael but Anthony had difficulties but Anthony seems to overcome them a great deal um, with Michael, Michael's always going to need 24-hour care, you know, because because of his disability. Um, but he's he's a very joyful person to be around. Um, you know, he's got his own funny little sense of humour, and pe people seem to like him.